Hi, it's Jeff at MarineBeam.com. Today I'm going to show you our newest technology, which is energy harvesting switch technology. Basically, this is a wireless switch, so you could mount it anywhere in your cabin or on, in your boat. Uh, you could even put it just on your dresser table, or you could mount it on the wall, or you could even carry it around with you. It has no wires, it has no batteries. It uses the kinetic energy from you pushing the switch and, and turns that into electricity that it then turns into a radio signal that goes back to our module here to do the control of all the lights on board. The module itself is really easy to hook up. It's got a 12 or 24 volt DC input and then basically you detach your light banks from your panel where they are now and just plug them into our panel here. It's very easy to do with these little PicoMax connectors. It literally takes just a few minutes to do. And once you've got all the banks hooked up, you've got six channels of lights. And then you've got multiple modules so you can connect these modules to a slave module and each one of those can do six banks of light. And each bank or each channel can have up to five amps total of lights, which with our LEDs is about 25 lamps per bank. So you notice we can get to several hundred lights and we can do up to 128 switches. These switches are cool in that they're addressable and you can change their personality. So basically through a very quick learning routine, we can tell this switch which banks of lights it needs to turn on and off and we can also have the switch turn on multiple banks, which you can't do with a standard switch without com completely rewiring. So this thing's really great for uh, current boats. It's also great for new boats or refurbishments of old boats where you're upgrading the lighting system. So let me just really show you how quickly and easily you can program this. Basically, the first thing you do is you go to the clear mode when you start up, and it basically clears out the memory and tells you, okay, I'm ready to program switch number one, or bank number one. So in this case, I only need to tell it two things. I need to tell it which switch I want on, and I'm going to say the top one is on, top left. I'm going to say the bottom one is off. So it's responded, and it's back blinking, saying I've learned that mode. So now I'm going to go to the next bank of lights, and you see I've got two lights here to simulate multiple lights in your system that would be on one bank. And in this case, I'm going to tell it, I want this right switch to be on the top, and bottom to be off. And now it's blinking telling me I've learned that. Now I don't have any more lights on this demo so I'm gonna go through all six channels by pressing this button seven times. The LED light on the bottom here is gonna go off telling me that it's learned everything and it's ready to use. So now when I turn on the left on I'll get the first light and when I turn it off it'll go off. Now I'm gonna use the right switch on my two LEDs are gonna come on and I'm gonna go off and it's going to turn off. The other cool thing is without any extra devices I also now have progressive dimming. And this is all automatic with the system so you've noticed that I've just dimmed those lights down to about 20 percent so they go from 20 percent to 100 percent output. And that was all there was to teach it. So now I'm going to clear the memory again. You don't have to clear the memory you can program channels individually but for the purposes of this video that's the easiest way to do it. Now I'm decided that gee I'm in the V-berth and I need to find a way to the head and I want all the lights in between to come on with one switch. So on a normal boat that'd be almost impossible to do without ripping out all the wiring. But watch how easy it's, it is to do here. So basically I'm on channel one learning and I'm going to say this left switch is to turn channel one on and the bottom one is to turn it off. And now I'm going to go to number two and instead of going to the right hand switch I'm going to use the same switch as I did on number one. I'm going to say on and off. And now I'm going to cycle back through the channels and I'm going to end the learning mode. And what's cool now is now I have on my bedside table a lamp that will find my way to the head because now I've got multiple banks of lights turning on with just this one switch and I taught it that in just a minute. Um, and the best part is I still have my dimming and my on off everything's ready to go. So I could do up to six channels that way. In fact, I could do six channels plus six channels plus six channels, et cetera, et cetera, as long as I had more slave modules. So it's a pretty cool system, and um, it's very easy to program, as you've seen. Um, there's a lot more to it, including CAN communication to other modules, uh, all sorts of things that you can find out about in future videos. Uh, appreciate you watching, and take care. Thanks.